Thanks for being here to answer some reflective questions about your experience. To start off, what will be your biggest takeaways from this digital media creation project? Um, I think it's a collaboration in the team. Um, it's a, a challenging job to collaborate uh, with your team members from uh, a different background, uh, like uh, the major uh, where they live, and uh, um, uh, we had a couple of uh, issues, and uh, it finally it turned out that it's uh, great. We had a great, um, efficient communication, and uh, the pro we. Uh, I was uh, impressed that uh, we finally uh, uh, resolved all of the issues and uh, 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 <clears throat> catch the deadline for our video. Okay. Um, I agree with that way in the sense that one of the things is that the communication is important. I learned that it's key aspect of um, collaboration in that you always have to, no matter how simple the concept might be, it's really important to say at each step of the way, what is it you're about, what you're going to do, um, what you're not going to do, what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with, because then if you don't do that, then you get this, there'll be a gap in the whole process of completing the project, and you don't want that to happen. So that's one of the things that I realize. And um, one of the other takeaways for me is that it, it, doing this project has taught, I think, for myself or for others, that a lot about ourselves as, as individuals, how we fit into this group dynamics at all times, what we're capable of doing, what we're not capable of. And it makes us realize um, how lacking in what, what areas we can also be lacking in as an individual so we can know moving forward how to adjust ourselves accordingly. Now let's talk about the technical side of things, the filming, the editing. What kinds of challenges and opportunities did you see? Well, the challenges, okay. The challenges uh, I think about is that um, knowing, at first, learning about doing this project and the different equipment that we have at our disposal, all of that, I thought that it would be so cool to make use of all of these um, and how cool it would be to video and all of that, exciting and all, right? But then I realized that it's not as, as simple and as easy as thinking about it. When you get down to the nitty gritty of it, it's not as easy as that. So I'm guessing that it's good to also be able to quickly adjust yourself and your purview in relation to, to such things like that. Because I thought that it would be a breeze to just take up my phone and just do some videoing and all of that, but I realized that as Tim, they, or guide Tim was as pointed out more than once, it technically it is not as easy as even as how he says it sometimes. It seems like so easy when it comes out of his mouth, but it's not so. Yeah, I totally agree. And the opportunities? Yes. I guess uh, we have a state of art facilities here. Mm -hmm. uh, the cameras, the computers, and uh, uh, the most important uh, uh, professional support from team and uh, um, everyone. It's uh, wonderful. And we've learned a lot. I think we have learned a lot, even though we haven't gotten the opportunity to fully, I mean, um, access all the equipment and access everything that we can possibly learn about video editing and editing and everything. But I think this project has opened us to a lot of possibilities, and that's a good thing. Overall, how has it enhanced your learning? Yes, definitely. I, um, <clears throat> I learned how to uh, uh, do the video editing for the first time. Uh, I think uh, um, uh, I didn't realize I can actually do that. Um, it was uh, time consuming and uh, uh, very challenging, even for IT professional. Um, uh, I realized that it's uh, not about uh, the technology. It's about uh, uh, the content, uh, your idea, how you deliver uh, your idea through the editing, through the video, the, the voice, the videos, everything you all prepared. Because um, I, this is the first time I'm doing anything of this nature. 
to be honest. So the storyboarding, from the storyboarding up until this point of editing, even though I didn't have much to do with the editing per se, but from from the storyboarding right down to writing the voice of a script and attempting to do the recording of it, all of that has really enhanced my learning in that in, in a lot of ways. So because I like the idea of the storyboarding, started we didn't get much chance to to flex out with it, but I liked it because it gives you. It, it helps you to see how much you have inside of you to put for, to put out. And I like that. And even it makes it even better when you're actually sharing those ideas with, with someone else. And they're pushing the ideas that you're pushing theirs and you can see everything start to play out in in a logical way, in a sense. And it starts to make sense. And you said the stories start to come come to life in front of you. Uh, yeah. I that, think you did a good job regarding the scripts. I, I like tried. it. It's uh, energetic. Thank you. It's, uh, um, match with the video, mm -hmm. uh, with the building we are talking about. Um, so I guess uh, we will do a wonderful job uh, in the final cut. Yeah. That's my next That's question. True. What do you yeah. think about the final cut, the final product that's coming to launch next? Um, I'm pretty confident right now. We have a, had a, a wonderful discussion. Uh, we agreed on how we uh, distribute our tasks among three members. So I guess uh, uh, all of the issues have been resolved. Uh, I'm expecting a smooth, wonderful rough cut. Yes, I think the final cut will turn out to be something great based on the feedback that we got from, uh, from Tim. And I know that moving forward, if we use all those ideas and along with our own that we have come up with, we will have something great to present. So editing the voiceover, making sure it match on um, the video itself, the different video, and just ramping up on our, on our collaboration and our communication, I think we will have something great to present to you and to uh, our ULE um, stakeholders, not ULE. And finally, um, how has this inspired you for the future? For me, from the big from the beginning of I'm thinking that once I start to learn about the editing and all of that, I realize that this is something I would like to really learn and become possibly good at because I can see how I can use it as an educator. Because it's a good way to to present information to your students in a very professional way also, but in also a very fun and exciting way. It's a good way to open opportunities for your learners also by, if I understand it well enough, I can share with my knowledge with them also to work on many projects just like just like this one. And also it gives the opportunity to open their possibilities for them as learners if they intend to move into areas of editing or video, any kind of, in the terms of a career choice or so forth. So I like the idea of this and and I want to pursue it more because I even asked one of the my classmates that that has gotten a bit of knack of editing that after the program is finished, she needs to sit me down and help me to further develop my skills in the editing area so I can actually have this um, skill to share, to use it as an educator and also help with my learners in the process. So I believe that's a good one. Yes, I agree with you. I guess the most important thing of this uh, is about collaboration. Um, I figured the, the video is uh, just a piece of video, mm -hmm. uh, no big deal. Um, then I, I realized that it's actually about to, to teamwork with your team players and uh, to come up great ideas, to brainstorm, and uh, to, to actually deliver what you plan for. Uh, that's uh, the key message I got from this task. Amazing.